Hello guys, welcome to my channel and Tomb Raider remasters are finally coming out, final release and we could finally play them in all their BTA. So after I recorded a kind of first impression review video, I'm here with Tomb Raider 1 Let's Play. So yeah, after I'm done with Tomb Raider 1, I'm gonna go with two second game and the third game and I'm planning to let's play all these three amazing games and remasters. So the remaster is great. If you wonder my opinions, you could check the video. I think it's uh, it will be from the cards. You could select it and watch it, and you know, make your opinions about it. So the FMVs, by the way, are upscaled, and there's a subtitle now. Yes. But we don't use d-pad, we use keyboard Lara, so please. Okay guys, so the model is amazing. I mean, I talked about this in my previous video, review video. So I'm, I'm just basically, to sum it up, it's a great model. Look at the face. The eyes, the face, you know, you can see the eye. It's the great combination of FMV model and in-game model fantastic there there are no graph uh, I mean there are no changes for level layout it's the same level with all these graphical improvements I mean look at this <laughs> look at this from triangular to rounded if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah I mean even our side looks great it's like the second game's manner i think you can uh, and unfortunately since it's the first game you cannot go outside like this and you can still see the our cradle is an easter egg to indiana jones obviously okay but the outside is the same with tomb raider 2. it's great that they edited it to level layout I, I mean I don't know if it's just a texture or a flat surface let me know in comments of what it is in real in reality so the modern controls just feels like a Tomb Raider legend controls legend anniversary and underworld controls they're so similar in many ways like you you press space and jump you jump with space there is no back flip side flip side jump and all that stuff in modern controls so you just kind of drive your pistols drive your pistols and shoot them if you drive your pistols you can back flip and side flip that's what i mean also you cannot walk backwards backwards like the older games in modern control layout i mean the walk, walk button in pc version is alt button and the control button is the roll and you can also roll with this so this is a great addition to the first game it makes the combat much easier so it's great brilliant stuff that they did it finally into this game but in the fan made project they did it as well into this game so tomb tomb one main i guess that's the one the project's name so the manner is pretty much the same with all these great lighting graphic and improvements it's a great remaster by aspire by the way if you know my uh if you wonder my opinion on this video to basically explain it's great guys it's a fantastic made remastered by aspire and all the other members so i'm so glad there is no problem with the game and the promise is intact you know they promised us with something great and they completely delivered it no problem at all so that's the first game uh, that's the manner and for all you guys wondering about the game as well you could also get to the unfinished level unfinished business expansion pack from here I'm not gonna play it, I'm not gonna play them, I just wanna play them on my own free time to re-explore these amazing buildings. By the way, Tomb Raider 2 
expansion pack golden mask is the only game that i haven't finished yet so i'm just wondering i i, I just can't wait to play it with the remastered version so yeah so this is home this is extras like agreements and credits this is sound effects and lang language effects language choosing this is controls in controls you can switch between controls you can adjust controls walk button walk the action button action indicators which pops up if you when when you're close to the pickup item key item pickup item like small med pack vibration effect for controllers and inverting control sensitivity sensitivity and so, so on so yeah that's about it it's a simple control i'm just so glad they protected the you know they they protected the they put so much respect to the original layout and they you know it's this way i love this controls in the fourth game the last revelation it was a big disappointment for me you know the menu title screen was so much different and basic in my opinion so it's great okay let's choose a new game and finally start this damn let's play so fmv part i mean it's still the same they're just upscaled so in these parts i want to show up but there's my face cam so since it's my face cam i don't know what to say <laughs> because i cannot close my face cam i didn't put any shortcut but no problem at all so it's also great speaking exercise for me these let's play series because i want to improve all my english skills so this let's play is a great chance for me in many ways guys so i'm so excited in my opinion the FMV scenes could be made much better, but that's still good. I mean, even the subtitles are a great addition, in my opinion. But the upscaling could could have been done better, in my opinion. But it's alright, it's alright, it serves a purpose, so no problem at all. Yeah, see you later, Larson. <laughs> So for 96 actually it's amazing all these improvements the gameplay I mean even today I'm so amazed to look at it and it's so hard not to impress with what the team what core design team did with this game and the other classic games except for Chronicles I guess <laughs> so it's so great the timelessness of this game if timelessness is even a thing <laughs> if you know what I mean so one thing I love about this game is they added the intro FMV to new game after new game after you select a new game it is played immediately before this one so this one normally plays when you select new game it's a great addition because most of us skip the intro FMVs I mean come on how many, how many of us just waited to play? Especially when we were kids, you know. So it's great, it's great to see. So the upscaling FMVs are not that bad, like I said. The now remastered in-game model looks amazing with the FMV model. I mean, they kind of blended together pretty good. So yeah, that's our guide. What was... The guy's name, I always forget it. John or something else. I mean, I'm a completely, you know, John was completely the first thing that came into my mind. So <laughs> it was completely random. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was not John. Yeah, badass. I mean, if you're not impressed with that scene, I don't know what to what impresses you what could impress you so it's a great way to start a goddamn series with this scene it's the first game the original og tomb raider and it's a great way to start this series and connect you with the character that is Lara croft so 
it is amazing to it is amazing to show how much of a badass she is so one thing i love and adore actually is this scene look at this sky look at the snow particles snows falling down look at lara's breath close yeah like this this effect was first introduced in tomb raider 3 and it's great to see it in on the first game as well in the first game and also the snow effect was was in antarctica levels in the third game so yeah it's a great addition i love it i love the lighting i mean it's supposed to be a dark cave a very dark cave but you know the lighting now comes from the ceiling the hole from the ceiling but in the original control you can see oh man it's so weird to play it with modern controls this way it's so weird <laughs> yeah you know what i mean i mean in the original game we're supposed to imagine the ceiling is the sky so yeah i think you know what i mean so in my review video i also mentioned the modern controls it's kind of hard to jump into the slopes the first secret is the exact example of this so you cannot backflip it like the original way you have to press jump press jump again and like this and pull yourself up and choose the um, pick up the map back this is the indicator i'm gonna close it off it's just to show you guys i mean it's good for new players because it's i mean it's so easy to miss them miss the pickups especially key items in later levels because with the textures plant textures it's always easy to miss them so with your pistol drone here yeah, you could actually backflip side jump but not with the unholstered pistols i mean not with you need to draw your pistols this is what i mean so the thing still continues here you have to press action button not jump button to grab the ledge and i just have to yeah as you see i'm still having hard time adjusting to the new controls so if you i don't know if you show you guys but if you select control choose controls and switch up to the tank controls you could actually play with tank controls this is so much easier but i just want to adjust myself to the all the additions that this remasters offers it's the original pc controls by the way up to jump control to action button you know the arrow keys are your movement it's the same controls with the tank controls and it's so much easier this way and let me check yeah you can also roll an air like this this was an addition in the second game but in this game they added it too it's a great feature by the way it makes the combat much easier and i think i mentioned it in this video too <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna play with modern sorry guys <laughs> sorry og guys so the vegetation looks amazing the vegetation is great and the lighting effect is also great you know it shines upon this way so you could actually see okay there is a light coming from here and yeah that's how the vegetation manages to grow so yeah it's a great addition the vegetation vegetation is made from scratch you could also see it you know they were in, on the original games they were just the texture part of the texture but it's made from scratch and added it added to the levels and it's amazing it's 3d and you can actually blend in it it's a great addition to the atmosphere and the level so the original soundtracks are also preserved in the game you don't need to download patches like in the original game thankfully so the textures are pretty much original with upscale way i think they used ai upscaling 
if I'm correct. So it's a great job. It's a great job to make. And in this game, you it's, it's a limited way that you see the improvements, but in the third third game, the graphics looks amazing, even um, even more amazing this than this one. So this game was limited back in the day. I mean, it was not limited, but after the second and three games with the lighting and graphics and the level. You know the outside levels were introduced in the second game so in this game it was this way limited so you could see the great additions in the third game the best way possible but in this game it's amazing as well I mean look at this bear fight look at the bear <laughs> So silly oh my god so yeah like I said I couldn't adjust to the new controls in a better way so it's still gonna take some time to completely adjust it but it's all right it's all right guys no problem no pressure no pressure no problem we got this so this is like the it is just for the small map pack in the anniversary remake there is a you know secret kind of secret artifact in this section but in this section it's just for a small map pack you know all the fight all the things we have to face just for small map pack yeah great So you can also save your game with a 5 button but you, in order to load the game you have to press F9 button not F6. Just like this you could also manually save your game the long way by pressing escape button and you know save the, your, your game this way. It's also a choice to make but the shortcut, sh shortcuts makes it much easier. You know so in here there's a small map pack I'm gonna be picking up all the secrets by the way and most of the pickups so there might be some pickups that I could miss because it's been some time since I play this games I mean I memorize almost all of the sections but you know just in case I'm not going for all the pickups I still can used to the modern controls, yeah. I suck at these controls. Okay. So that was less humiliating humiliating than I thought it would be, so which is good. There is also another small map in here. So the soundtrack is, I mean, I don't know if I have to I think it will be better if I decrease the sound effects like this. And can I make it? Yes, I made it finally. <laughs> oh, we, this is bad. In the fan made patch, they fixed this. The you no, know, when you get to the secret area, the soundtrack continues to play on the background. But unfortunately, in this version, just like in the original game. When you get to the secret, the secret chime is, uh, you know, supposed to play. You, the background music stops immediately, which is bad. I, but not that important, not a big issue at all. So let me just try this. No, not this. Yeah, great. That's what I need. So the mouse controls and the modern controls, I think. When you get used to it, it makes the gameplay much smoother. That's, but these games made for tank controls too, I know it as well. So I'm not still sure about how it will turn out to be this way when we play it. So some stupid dart traps and some stupid wolf in here. And I just jump into the wolf like an idiot. 
which is great. Okay. Man, look at the lighting. From here to from here, it makes the atmosphere kind of foggy, but also brighter. I mean, darker and brighter. So you you can what I mean is you can you can see the source of the light now. It's a great addition, like I said, and the snow particles. I think it adds more to the level than I thought before. And I think there is also rain effect in Lost Valley as well. I can't wait to play the level with you guys. It's amazing. And if you want to live stream these games, just let me know in the comments. I can also make a live stream and play it this way with you guys. And, uh, you know, I can also record the gameplay and upload it to YouTube. And there's an achievement. Okay, that's good. So... I'm gonna try all the achievements like a maniac that I'm supposed to be for this game. So yeah, it is great to make the first one. Okay, that was stupid. Never mind that. And that's the end of the first level, guys. Yeah. So with all these me talking non nonsensely, so it's a great way to finish this level. All the three secrets I'm gonna be picking up all the secrets and most of the pickups like I said and the, this is the statistics if you don't know in the classic games after you complete all the levels you get a statistic screen that shows you you use this kind of map pack you kill this amount of enemies this is the time taken for the level completion time secrets that you found, find, found and ammo used all that stuff, the distance traveled and so on. So it was a good way to show you what you did and how you did for the level. So let me just save my game and to end this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm so excited for this let's play. It's a great practice for me too. So if you like the video, please like it, share it if you can, if you want. And please make a comment and you know share your thoughts about th thoughts about the, about this game and you know you could also subscribe to support me and the channel and if you like the content obviously so yeah guys I'll see you guys later and the next level.